Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode. So last time we cleared out the ghouls in Jamaica Plains and the raiders over at Hyde Park. And today we're going to make our way over to the Atom Cats Garage and to Warwick Homestead. So as always, if you like what you see, do hit that big red button. Let's get stuck in. Okay then, so. We've got a couple of options today. The quarry just over here, there's Quincy just off in the distance that way, and the Atom Cats garage down that way. And then we've got the Suffolk County Charter School, I believe it is, down in this direction. And way over that way is Gunners Plaza. So, yeah. Quincy, Atom Cats, quarry, school, Gunners Plaza somewhere here. So, I've got a few choices to make. I think I'm going to start with the quarry, and we'll see where we go from there. But first, clearly I picked up a couple of levels last time. I forgot to do anything about that. Let's have a geesey. The final rank of gun nut. We'll definitely grab that while we're here. And I think our next big goal is going to be to work our way down the perception line and get sniper. But that's quite a way off. I wouldn't mind awareness either, actually. At least the first rank off. Yeah, I don't think there's much else, so let's do that. Boom. Right then. This quarry should be cool, but I'll find somewhere with a bit of cover. And the Brotherhood are back over there causing trouble again. It's shut down for the look of this. Might have to check that out in a bit, see what happens. Not quite sure what they're doing over there though, seeing as that's marked as cleared on the map. It's just a rattling physics object. Yeah, the Brotherhood look like they're going to provide some distraction for me. So what can we see down here? Raiders. So we've got a turret over there. Yeah, Brotherhood should provide some good distraction there. Somebody's detected me though. Not really well. I suspect it's that Raider survivalist up there. Let's just take this out first. This is the only thing pointing this way. Boom. Oh, maybe it was just that then. I think we can have you. Stand still. Did the job. Ooh, somebody may or may not be on to me. Let me grab here a little bit. In there. Nah, you should be easy enough. I don't really want to shoot him in the leg, but. Not that difficult, haven't you? I can't even move further over. Beam. That made a mess, didn't it? There's a lot of pop shots on that if it's taking it down. I'll just stay in that window where I can hit you. Gotcha! Then you, yeah, you couldn't stay put, could you? No. You're gonna make life reasonably easy, aren't you? Come on. Gotcha! Enjoy rads. Don't need that. Do not need that in my life. Oh yes, between episodes... Quincy Quarry is wonderful. Between episodes, I've grabbed, uh, I've built rather a uh, decontamination arch of Jamaica Plain, because it was getting rather ridiculous. Half my health was gone because of it. This is, after all, survival mode. Radix. So... Gotcha. We'll clean out first, and then we'll uh, see what happens after that. Ooh, I can hear voices. <gasps> that wasn't part of the plan. Not even slightly. Oh dear. 
And you're named as well. Crikey, they're all around me now. Well, you should be easy enough. Tidy. So, back in cover. See if I can grenade them out, get them out that way. Nope, doesn't look like it. Something going on up that way. 74, that'll do. Boom. Really not making it difficult, chaps. Oh yeah, this particular one's called Hide and Seek. And it didn't go so well for you. Lots and lots of stabby. And two, that's nice. Oh, and there's another one. Wonderful. Ooh. I like your level, I'm not worried about you. I think they might be on to me though. Still. Nice and quick. Oh, assault rifles as well. Spyblist, you're not helpful. I bet that bleeding effect's done me some uh, good help. No, no, just you're dumb. That's all. Ooh, nice, interesting looking uh, barrel on that thing. I'm sure there's a back way around here somewhere. There it is. Show your face. Come on. I dare you. Oh dear, the Radix has worn off. Uh, not quite fast enough, but this isn't a gunfight, this is a knife fight. Bringing a gun to it's not going to save you. I'm popping away. Okay, back. Can hear I can't see you, that's the annoying thing. Well, I'll tell you what, I've looked all around this place and I can't find that last raider. I can hear him talking, but I can't actually find the fella. The rods are a bit crazy high there. I'm down to my last one. So let's have a shifty around, see if we can clean this place out of anything valuable. See if this fella's going to turn up while I'm doing it. More than likely, with some kind of shotgun right behind me or something. I think they'd have turned green with all the rods, but apparently not. Well, this is a pretty sight. So they're dragging settlers off and uh, slaughtering them, dumping them in the bottom of the heap here. They haven't done a very good job cleaning them out, though. Too busy decapitating them from the look of that. Nice. Couple of handy bits and pieces. We have the leader there. Sadly, doesn't have anything of any kind of value. Because somebody's nicked his. her. <coughs> not quite sure. Oh dear, apparently picked up an infection from something. That's not good. Yeah, I have. I wonder how I've done that. On the other hand. I do, somewhere, I have plenty of antibiotics at the moment, so. 
We good. Gotcha. Long last, we are clear. Wish someone had some 308 ammo though. It seems to be a little thin on the ground at the moment. So, we haven't got a right lot of any value here. A few bullets, and that's about it, really. Looks like I do have a desperate need to rush back over to Jamaica behind and get myself sorted out, though. Before I do, there's an FYI. This is where, uh, there we go, Vault 88 comes out if you happen to have the Voltec DLC installed. Which is always handy to know. It's quite well hidden, that. So, let's bomb back to Jamaica Plains, get ourselves sorted out, and uh, decide where to push up to next, because that was quite easy. Buffer the rads, anyway. Okay. So, we are just north of Quincy, and just out from Hyde Park and the vault here, which interestingly has replaced the map marker for uh, Quarry, which I hadn't realised it did that, that's cool. I thought we'd make our way over here to the Aston Cats garage. There's some fairly cool stuff going on over there. But before we do, there's other cool stuff over here. For example, somewhere down here, if I remember rightly, if you need one, to see a power armor. Well, two thirds of one there, anyway. So I'm not going to uh, pursue right now, but. It's there should anybody need one. It's one of the more cool out in the open but hidden at the same time ones. It's under the end of the destroyed freeway there. I smell my looks. Which won't be particularly interesting, so I think I'll leave them be. So you just sort of see over there the silhouette of the red rocket. It's the Atom Cat's garage. And, uh, the normal route, I suppose, would be to push on through Quincy, which a lot of it's... well, it's right there, but... That's rather a hardcore area, so I think I'm going to take it slow and steady and avoid it for now. Wonderful, Quincy manhole. And that, I believe, is the last one I have yet to discover, so that's cool. Here we go. It's going to be some cool cats. There are mods that will turn this place into um, a player home for a workshop here. But, uh, yeah, it's quite cool. In some ways, it's even cooler than uh, the one we can build on. There's a random encounter you and find that guy stripping various things, usually cars and stuff, for parts. Which is quite cool. And he'll uh, tell you where the Out of Cat's Garage is. They don't seem to have a problem with me just wandering on in. Should have used this place for a bit of inspiration on my scrapyard build, really. Definitely don't want you to set that flamethrower off on me. Oh, yep. Saw that uh, tripwire at the last second there. The full Asim Cat suit of T60, that's very, very cool. Pop in the helmet. Hey, Nosebleed, just where do you think you are? This is Adam Cat territory. I assume that must be uh, this chap, Zeke. Cool name. Intimidating. Go back to Nowheresville where you belong. Oh, I know what this is. You want to join up with the cats, don't you? I guess you don't look like a total sweat rat. Yeah, it seems to be sarcastic, but this is clearly amusing him quite a lot. What's your deal? Are you writing a book? I'm the boss of the Atom Cats, and souped up power armor is my bag. Now, let's put your skills to the test. My girl Rowdy should have something for you to get your bread hooks on. She also trades in power armor mods and frames. Get yourself hooked up while you're there, Jack. Yeah. 
interesting individuals. Hi. Say goodbye from the cats as a donation towards a more cool comedy. What do you say? Let's see what you got. What's new around here, Jack? We've been thinking about getting out there and finding some new suits to play with. We should take a few from those nosebleeds from the Brotherhood of Steel, right? Yeah, I don't see that going very well for you, bud. There we go. Oh my, he's got 308. Anyway, that's a great start. Okay, so not much happening apart from... Uh... Hmm, cool. Apart from a few bullets, which I desperately needed, so that's cool. Oh, so this is where Zeke crashes, is it? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. You've got uh, Poetry Night. Mm. Entirely sure I want to expose myself to that. Far more importantly, there we go. Number three, third and final Hot Rodder magazine. Which is very cool. Interestingly, they don't actually seem to use it. They'll go with their own flames paint job, which is quite cool. Probably one of the better ones in the game. Cool. That's a little improvised uh, weight bench there. I like it. So, hello, Rowdy. <clears throat> I saw you over there gabbing with Zeke. What's the story? Stand still. Something about red hooks? Red hooks, you know? Hands? <laughs> what is that? From the looks of it, <laughs> I'd say Boss Man thinks you have a little Adam cat in you. Wants all rowdy to see if you have what it takes to shack up with us. This won't be hard. Oh, a cocky one, eh? I've been putting off hauling myself over the pond to work for this, but now you get to do it. This here's something I've been fixing up. Part of the pump system at work. Thing was clogged up like Zeke after one too many cans of cram. I want you to go to the pump shed there and install it. Warwick? Warwick's an old water plant turned farm just east of here. Bunch of squares who spent all day digging in the dirt. Oh, and uh, make sure to let June Warwick know when you're done. She's the bird in charge around there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'd forgotten that since we have there as well. Though, interestingly enough, we have the Institute thinking the synth is in charge, and these guys thinking uh, June, who I think is married to said synth, or she knows he's a synth. Uh, who is in charge, so interesting outlook on life. I hadn't actually planned to head down to Warwick just yet. Uh, there it is over there. Especially as there's uh, quite a lot of trouble between here and there, but I think I might be able to cut straight across. Wouldn't be too bad. There's a couple of interesting things out in that direction, so we'll do that. So I don't think sneaking around this way is going to be a particularly good idea, as uh, it's going to take me very, very close to... Uh, Quincy a bit sooner than I'm ready to do that. You can see robots hanging around there as well. But there's some cool stuff over this way. Let's grab a level before we push on. As soon as it's sat there ready and waiting. And I think it's going to be another point in perception. But I do have the option to get awareness. I do like that. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Let's do that. And get ready for a short swim. Water redux makes this look pretty good. Definitely a mod I like quite a lot. So you can see down into the water a little bit now. And here we are, Warwick Homestead. Contrary to what the game insists, I'm not calling it Warwick. And that's a cool little location I think we'll have a look at in a minute as well. So... I believe this is the pump house. I believe. There we go, yep. Dead easy.
never actually built here. Don't really spend that much time down this end of the map. So, where's June? I saw you oh, there you are. Shed over there. Are you with the Atom Cats? <laughs> meow. Why not? Meow. Oh, um, I'll take that as a yes. So we have pump all fixed up now? Why do you need that pump working? Oh, this place used to be a sewage treatment plant. <laughs> you probably figured that from the smell. Well, if we can get that pump up and running, we can flush out the system and hopefully get some of this stink out of the tube. Maybe someday this will do the farm some good. The Atom Cats have been such a great help to us. You must be hungry. Here, take some food back with you. And please, send Zeke my thanks. Yeah, sound like an alright bunch. Nice. It seems we're here anyway. Let's go talk to this chap. Excuse me. Didn't run into too much trouble coming out here, I hope. Yes, we do have a code phrase. Seeing as he's a simp. Some blood bugs chased me halfway across the Commonwealth, but I made it. Yeah, those things can be pretty territorial. Glad they didn't catch you. Since you traveled all this way, how about a quick tour? Right this way, if you please. I'll show you what we've been up to here at the Warwick Homestead. Hmm, cool. We've come through some tough times here, if you don't mind telling me. Yeah, as if my jacket wasn't enough to give away. About five years ago. I admit it was a little impulsive, but I don't regret it a bit. You got the seed? Good. Now wait for me. Listen, I need your help. The whole operation's in danger of being exposed. Oh joy. And you need me to bail your ass out. Hey, I'm doing the best I can, but I'm on my own up here. Now, let me give you the details. Ain't my foreman, Bill Sutton. Suspects what I really am. He's been spying on me and having secret conversations with our farmhand, Cedric. Now, he's starting to work on my wife and kids, trying to turn them against me, too. Just how dangerous is this foreman? Is he a real threat? I don't know, maybe. He's heard all the same boogeyman stories as everyone else. A lot of people up here are scared. They're seeing scents around every corner. Anyway, there's more to it. I wonder why. Band. Bill says. He had to visit a sick relative, but I think he went to get help. Do you have any idea where Cedric went? Of course I don't. The whole point of their plan was to keep me from finding out. But I have a feeling that someone around here does. Bill's taken June and the kids into his confidence. He might have told them what he's planning. Right now, they're too suspicious to talk to me about it, but they've got no reason to suspect you. Just remember. None whatsoever, apart from the skilled. big courser outfit I'm wearing. Okay. That sounds interesting. Obvious first target. Let's ask the Sorry, kid. Mister. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. That will get through the persuasion, but you never know. Well, I'm not a stranger. I'm a friend of your father's, and I'm here to help him. Uh-uh. I know all of my dad's friends, and you're not one of them. Anyway, now I'm talking to you, and I'm going to get in trouble. I'm not going to say anything else. Yeah. Kids too smart for his own good. I'm sorry, but I'm not supposed to talk to you. What do you mean? Why not? Foreman Bill says we shouldn't trust any strangers who come to visit Dad. Look, your father's in danger and I'm trying to help him. Well, okay. If you really are trying to help, then I not guess well. I can talk to you. The truth is, I'm really scared for Daddy. Foreman Bill says he's a simp and he has to be dealt with. He gave Cedric a lot of money and told him to go to good mother. I don't know why. Please, if you really want to help Daddy, find out what Cedric and Bill are up to and stop them. So, he sent him off to, uh... Good neighbor, so I'm assuming that's where it's suggesting I'm going now, then. Okay, yeah, it is. Well, that can wait for now, because that's a hell of a trek. For now, let's bounce back over to the Asp Cats. In fact, no, let's not do that. Hmm. 
some munch. Let's go and check this place out because it's rather cool and quite convenient as well. So, the wreck of the FMS Northern Star. Cool. I've forgotten that they've uh, got some junk fences up here. We've got a bit of a mix of stuff in here. Creaky, creaky. Crikey. It's a lot of fusion core generators. Some trouble from the sound of that. Yeah, there's a mile luck. Oh, you're up and about. I might even be able to hit you. Let's see what happens. Gotcha. This is quite a cool place to explore. Various like, tunnels formed by these uh, shipping containers and stuff. Right, yeah, there you are. Well, let me. Hey. Well, that was different. Can we take your legs? Yeah, I think we possibly can. They can finish you off for me. Okay, so it sounds like somebody's up and over on the other side then. And is also on to me, apparently. Interesting voice. Well, hello there. Oh, balls. There we go. I think I just shot him in the arse. I really hope I did just shoot him in the arse. That would be cool. Well, not so much for him, but you know. Oh, that's not good. Let's move away from there. Oh dear. So this is the way up, is it? Yeah, given all the creaking and general possibility of this place falling apart, I don't entirely understand why they're so willing to set up shop here. I wouldn't be keen on the idea. Alright, let's set up a level. Oh, they've taken out some mile looks for me. Now, onto the deck. Oh, you haven't seen me, so let's keep it that way. Boom. Gotcha. A few rods, though. It's a bit disconcerting. Much of any interest in here? Ooh, what have we here? Eh, yeah, expert logs. No way I'm getting in that. Let's get start. Start. So that as well. Nice. Didn't think I was going to hit that for a second. No, that's alright. Let's take that while we can. No, oh, we got him anyway. <laughs> when you miss your target and take somebody else out instead. I can live with that. Somewhere around here, that sounds like a spotlight. Oh, there it is. Why are you guys yelling at me in what seems to be a foreign language? I'm confused by this. Anyway, I don't know if this pan's going to work. I'll give it a go. As well as I was hoping. Oh dear. Move, 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 move. Oh, that worked. Shall we uh, return fire? See what happens. Well, took that out at least. Here we go. Come on, do something stupid. I'm happy about the rods, but I need the cover.
That was something stupid. Balls. Oh, well, tagged you anyway. Come on, sit still. No, 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 no. Grenade! Fire in the hole! Come around this side. I see you now. Boom! Oh, damn it, stand still. Got ya! You're still alive! Let's do something about that. What? <coughs> the hell, this is the hardest fellow I've ever seen! <coughs> Come on. Finally got him. Oh, crikey. This is very not good. Take a moment, try and recuperate. Ooh, I saw movement. Oh, just birds. Oh, hello. Down. Heck of a lot of veterans over here. Ooh. Did we get him? No, we didn't. So I'm hidden, so let's see if we can stealth him up a bit. Let's go around this side. So I don't think he'll, he'll expect this. Oh, looks like he's fallen back a bit. I really hope I don't fall through the floor. Bingo. Oh, cool. Didn't quite mean to pick that up, but I'll have it. Oh, somebody's on to me. That'll be him. Stab the living daylights out of you. Oh, and Ragul as well. It's okay, I'm all up for a bit of equal opportunities murder. I'm definitely going to have 15 bullets for my sniper rifle. Is that the lot? Nah, it's far too easy. There's a lamp up there. No, it's definitely not a lot. Somebody heard that. Been down here. I suspect it's just the leader left, wherever they may be. I saw somebody there. No? Really? Is that it? Yeah, that's it, apparently. We are clear. Cool thing, right at the tip of the bow. Agility bobblehead. Which I thought it was a different one, but... We'll have that. Let's take a minute and clean this place out, then. Okay, so this must be the unfortunate fellow we got taken out when we took the turret out. Or when I missed the turret, rather. Nothing particularly interesting on anybody around here. A few bits of scrap if you need it. Quite a cool location. I've always been rather fond of this one. But, this is one of the best things about it. If we very carefully jump into the boat here. Hit the button. It'll lower us straight down to the ground. There we go. So 
So, let's make our way back over to the Atom Carrots Garage. Nice, so just as the sun's setting, we'll make our way back. I'm not sure any of you are ever ready, really. Power armor framing. Oh, I think it's still stealing in it. That's unfortunate. So, where's Rowdy got to? There she is, hanging out in the bar. Makes sense at this time of the evening. Zeke's got himself suited up then. Bye. Oh, all done. Yeah, and did you know about the terrible smell over there? <laughs> Why do you think I've been putting off going back over there? Seriously, who builds a farm at a sewage treatment plant? <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. <laughs> June said you guys help out at Warwick a lot. When we found this place, they helped us get on our feet. Gave us food, you know? Didn't even ask for nothing back. And we've been cooking up a plan. To get that pump working again, so we can flush out that grody sludge. <laughs> As a way to say thanks. Don't go spilling the beans that the Adam cats have a heart or something. Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. So we had the skills to spiff up the Warwick pump. Should we rustle his jimmies with something else? And this is where the fun begins. That's not gonna help. Yeah, you can go and stomp. I'm gonna go onto the roof and snipe. Because gunners mean trouble. Ooh, an Assaultron. Good job the cat's use power armor, really. Down there, eh? Oh, Gunner Commander. A little ping on you. I'm going to stay hidden there, you make it easy for me. Oh, maybe not. I'm not going to use grenades though, in case I accidentally hit one of the atom cats. You'll do for stars. Can I hit you? Not really. Can hit you though. Boom! Oh, and I've got a critical now. <laughs> so let's use that. Boom! Oh, you are tough, aren't you? Make it easy, buddy, please do. I say you making it easy. Whoa, that was dramatic. 95, you should be easy enough to hit. Gotcha! That's the big trouble dealt with. And your leg it is then. And we've got ya. A legendary gunner. Oh, that's cool. And cat's quite happy to throw grenades. I'm quite happy to sit here and... Oh, well, apparently not. Let's go around the other side then. I wonder if it's the power armor they're after. Seems so. Boom. Save ya. Oh, well, we hit you at least. Not overjoyed about your uh, regenerating health there. Where are you? Hiding in the smoke, that's annoying. Oh, we can hit you. Come on out. No, you're still too well hidden. That's quite annoying. Right here. Okay, where are we get you now? Oh, cat's done the job then. And Zeke wants to start a chat with us. Gunners. Wet rags keep trying to get their mitts on our suits. He's not gonna stop yelling at me, is he? <laughs> you slave! Because I did. of you, we didn't lose a single cat today. Whatever you say. Well, I say you are righteous, out of sight, and with it, and an official friend of the Adam Cats. Well, thank you, you very much. have full reign of our digs. And, uh, you know, we can get you hooked up with a little discount around here. Yeah. Finally, the holy grail for anyone who knows what's cool in the Commonwealth. 
Your very own Adam Katz Jack. Wear it well, Jack. Nice. Oh, I need a little round of applause. Thanks, guys. Have a look at this awesome cast jacket. It is pretty cool. Six jacket and jeans. There we go. Not much in the way of damage prediction. Bit of unarmed. That's cool. And some charisma as well. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Might be an improvement on what I'm currently wearing. There he is. She is. I just want to look at that. No, oh, no, no. Is he? Hello, legendary gunner. Cunning left leg. That's not bad, actually. I mean, the leather bit's not so great, but the cunning's definitely handy. Oh. The little eyebot didn't survive. I'm just going to take him back. Maybe then repair him. Hey, Rowdy, I brought your friend back. You want to see if you can fix him up? He's got a bit of a bad knock. Here. There we go. We'll put him in the power armor frame for now. There we go. You can fix him later. At this stage, we get a bit of a discount from Rowdy if we need one. We can uh, get some interesting power armor parts if we like. He also taking a bit of a battering from the look of that. And hopefully, we could use a few more suits around. Buy a, sell a few good bits and pieces. <clears throat> you want to spiff up your power armor? You've come to the right place. Yeah. I'll take a look. Sure. Cool. Am I? That's a good start. Now, if I wanted to spend 7,000 caps, which I don't, I could get the uh, paint job to apply on anything I like. Probably be cheaper to buy a full set of the power armor, T60. Yeah, I've got a helmet left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg, torso. Yeah, I could get a full set of it. And do it that way, that wouldn't be bad actually. Cheaper than buying the uh, paint job, funnily enough. You know what? Why not? There you go, two grand. Don't expect you, know I'm going to be walking anywhere quickly. Oh, cool, I'm not even overburdened. Wonderful. Well then, ladies and gents, with all that very cool stuff under our belt, I think it's a good time to call this an episode. So thank you very much for watching, as always. Do hope you enjoyed. If you like what you see, do hit those wonderful buttons for me. It's always very much appreciated. And if you'd like to keep up to date with everything going on on the channel, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter, slash Darth Zion Games. Link's down in the description. And I will be speaking to you all very, very soon. Thank you very much.